As the RA approaches its 250 year anniversary, it is embarking on a project to join together Burlington House and Burlington Gardens. In this eight part series, we reveal, celebrate and explore the ideas and people behind this transformation. The firm I work for, we kind of specialise in high profile historic buildings, but it's unusual to do something that is effectively a sculpture. So right now we've got um, the concrete pour of the first um, vertical wall of the link bridge, so it's a big milestone for the project. I've been working for two years to get to this point on a link bridge and the concrete is probably as good as you can achieve in the world. I mean, we're really pushing the limits in terms of design concept and kind of execution. So between those two things, they have to come together today to produce something that's completely excellent. This is probably the biggest day for me of my whole career. <laughs> from the inception stages to sort of getting the design and the concept and going through to where we are now, it's taken, you know, years and years. This is just a kind of beginning sketch. This is really kind of ground zero. With existing structures, we have historic fabric to take into account the effect on the buildings which are adjacent. A lot of the time, the structure either side is listed and we don't want to put in something which kind of compromises that at all. With structural engineering it's good to get an idea of how the structure might be working with a real model rather than kind of sit and figure it out. This model is just made out of a laser jet printer ink box but I think it's really useful to show just the complexity geometrically as much as anything else. You can see there's kind of lines where we thought there might be a potential for cracking across here and we were talking about the reinforcement we might need to put in just to mitigate that risk. This will be a two, two and a half hour pull and then once this is complete uh, the shutters will be struck over the weekend and you'll see the wall on Monday morning. The concrete is Fairface concrete, which David Chipperfield has used before in other schemes, namely the Hepworth in Wakefield. And we actually had the Concrete Society come along and give our subcontractor advice. There's been lots of heads together to get this right. <laughs> Since we were last here, really, we've left the concrete for a few days to leave it to cure. Today is really the sort of big reveal where they're taking it all down. We've got everyone here, some structural engineer and DCA, to have a look to make sure that hopefully we've met the aesthetic quality that we need to do. All being well, then SIS can then give the go-ahead to crack on and start pouring the rest of the bridge. You're out and about all the time, um, constantly working with project teams and different types of people and different experts as well. I think that's what's fascinating, you're just always learning. It's just not particularly glamorous, I think that's the only thing. It's looking good, really. Looking really good. It's not a bridge, really. It's not really a building, it's a piece of art. <laughs> 